Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to another live stream. Here we are on episode 3 of 5, that means we're almost halfway through, oh, I can never believe uh, how quickly these stream series go, it's crazy. Either way, a welcome to you all, I'll jump straight into the chat in just a second, but thank you and welcome to everyone that's turned up so far. Hopefully it's going to be a fun day today, as you've seen from the title, there's going to be a mystery unboxing. Mm -hmm. Right there. Uh, Jimmy81, well, thank you for becoming a member. I hope you enjoy it. So we've got a mystery unboxing to do. Hopefully that will be fun. Later on, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So save your questions. Think of them if you haven't already. And you're going to be able to ask me some questions, anything you like. So hopefully that will be fun. I've got some new models to show you that I'm quite excited about. Always enjoy showing new models. Uh, ones that I haven't yet unboxed. So I don't know anything about them, but I'm going to be showing those to you. Obviously, there's going to be a bonus giveaway. Ooh, let's have, a, let's have an ooh sound effect for that. That, shall we? Oh! Did it work? I can I can't hear it. So whether it actually worked or not, I have no idea. Uh, probably it will carry on working now through the stream. That has happened before, hasn't it? Better keep an eye on that to make sure it doesn't actually. No. Okay. I think we're okay. Uh, and uh, of course we're going to be doing some requests. So let's have a little chat uh, before I do thank everybody from last week. Oh, Jay just popped in there. Hey man, please review more bad. I'm guessing you put bad locos. That's probably a good idea. Bad models. Yeah. Cheers, Jay. And also Sparky129 Games got in there as well. Man, there's quite a lot coming through right now. Thank you to everyone. Shining Time 4 wants to see a Grange class with a Great Western Express. You got it, certainly. Kelly Ashford says, can you run Broom Manor with the Egg Vans? Oh, that's that's Kelly's favourite. And Kelly, your uh, little super chat noise actually made me jump there. That one I should have been expecting, but I wasn't for some reason. Sparky129 Games says, for my first request, I would like to see... Oh, he says first request. Ooh, I like the sound of that. To see the Electrotron Barracaldo with Ocean Wagons please. Sure, no problem. And to the rest of you, welcome. How's everybody doing? Harvey Hurst says, hi Sam in capital letters. Oof, better not ignore him then, had I? <laughs> Although I'm not ignoring, I just miss some people sometimes. Archie Watt 19 says, hi to you. Oh, there we go, Jay, you got your pop-up in the end. Adam Rushton's here. Welcome, Adam. Welcome to you. Lee Tong 16 wants a shout out, of course. Rebecca Watson's there. Logan Humphreys, hi. R32 Gaming, hello to you as well. Luke Hughes, Man, we've got a lot of people here today. Welcome. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Uh, R-H-O-E-W Amit says, please. I'm guessing you want to shout out. There you go. Uh, Mad Banana 249 has four engines. Now, I think four engines is a really good number because you can give them your undivided attention. Uh, I've got too many engines, and uh, I do think I enjoyed them more when I only had four. So to those of you who wish you had a massive collection, don't, no, well, just be careful what you wish for. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's a lot of work. R32 Gaming, there's your shout out. Uh, thank you very much, British and American Railways. Really appreciate that. Who else did I miss? Uh, was it Mayo Hosco I missed as well? Don't worry if I've missed your super chat, by the way. I will come back to them all. He says he'd like to see Mallard doubleheading with any other A4 pulling the railgun. Some egg vans, a breakdown crane, and an LNR brake. Ooh, the, the A4 and the... Um, Railgun are very, very popular. Loads of people ask for them. I, I'd, I'd love them both, so it's great. Uh, oh, Archie Watt 14 has, sorry, Archie Watt 19 has 14 models. Confused me a little bit there. William Town, I did not even see you in the chat, but thank you very much. He says, please run the Nightfall Limited again. Same amount of Pullman coaches, but with a Britannia at the front and a Class 37 banking. Sure, William, I could do that. Thank you very much to you. And also, Whammy Radio by Christian Manker to run the Tango Tarpin with Ocean Cars and a pillbox brake van. Sure, I'll give that a try. Thanks, Christian. Really appreciate that. O-Gage in the background, says Logan Humphreys. Yes, I've posed the, uh, the what is it, 4F <laughs> mental block there. I posed that in the background so you could see it, so I hope you like that. Oh, a lot of people talking about the O-Gage. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you like the look of that. That looks good. And welcome, Archie Watt 19 to the Apprentice Engineers. Make sure you check out the community tab and get access to all your perks. Hey Sam, what is the first engine you ever had? Oh, that's one I get asked all the time. Technically speaking, it was the Caledonian 040 uh, from Hornby. Really, really nice it is. Uh, can we have a Terrier on some Pullman, says Admiral Southdown. Sure, yeah, if you want to send a Super Chat, I'll tell you how to send a Super Chat in a second. But if you want to, yeah, I can do any request you like. 
Uh, Me on, thank you very much. Says, could you run a 56XX class and a Duke dog? Pulling a great Western Ooh. coaches, please. Yeah, of course, I can do that. And thank you, Bullman, for letting me know. There we go, Archie Watt got his pop up there. Very nice. Okay, well, you guys keep going in the chat. You can see yourself on the screen. I'm just going to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody that uh, supported the channel last week. I mean, as always, you're the guys that help the videos to come. Um, without you, I couldn't make videos. I couldn't make the streams. I couldn't do a lot of things. So I really do appreciate you guys. And of course, I appreciate all the folks that just come to watch as well. So a massive thank you to Colin Wikes, Tagot00, Lee Tong16, Harry Chapman, Jay, Kelly Ashford, Sparky129 Games, AZ Rail, William Town, Wardle Road, E350TB, Lewis Hughes, Paul S, Sideways66779, The Ugly Duck Man, Meet On, Flying Yorkshireman, Ronan's Railways, Jared SAR, Endplant, sorry, Enderplant2007, James White, uh, Whammy Radio by Christian Mann, Mayo Hosco, Jason Big, Shining Time 4, Koala YT, George Botterini, Terence Priestley, Simon Tempest Brown, British and American Railways, Ray Canold, Kermel R, Charles Curtis, Fanstone 2000, Len Alliston, The Pedal Car Guy, William Town, Rob Arnold, Wyatt Cooper, David Piper, Juggernaut 123, Mandalore the Mad, Connolly 500, The Fox, Jeremiah Bradway, Cooper Green, Bat Dog 136. Thank you all so, so much to you guys. Obviously, you're, you guys are all entered for the giveaway, uh, which is going to be taking place at the end of us oh, at the end of the series. So, episode five to say thank you to everybody for their support. So, the main thing I'm giving away is, of course, the Barracaldo, which has always already been mentioned today. Lovely little loco, uh, Electrogen, but uh, it's made by Hornby, technically speaking. The other thing I'm giving away is, of course, the lovely Bullman model. His name is Brazing. Let me just move the mystery box out the way. There we go. He comes with a certificate, so you can pick him up as well if you're lucky and then as the title suggests i also have a bonus giveaway which i'm going to be giving away today on today's stream so everybody that supports the channel with a super chat today is going to be entered for it and the prize is uh, thanks very much to hornby courtesy of hornby i should say uh, who sent these in uh, we have a terrace house skate hornby scaledale is the brand and two letter boxes they're both going out to one lucky person at the end of today's stream so keep your super chats coming in thank you so so much for the support as always if you're feeling really really generous and you'd like to send in five pounds or the equivalent in whatever currency you have um, i will run a request for you just include the loco you can have up to two locos and any rolling stock you like and i will run that for you on the stream and you get your five minutes of fame so thank you in advance so so much to everyone that does that i know i've just missed a few but don't worry i will go back and read them uh, don antonio says hi sam i'd like to request a rust and pulling as many puch and co coal wagons as you own with a brake van of your choice thanks for your company no problem don i can certainly do that for you and lakota theorov says i just wanted another chance to win looking for a west country class for a uh, or a Battle of Britain class. Okay, run your favourite one and some coaches. Okay, I like the sound of that. Thank you very much, Lakota. That's very cool. Okay, well, let's get on to that then, shall we? Let's talk about some requests. I've got some that I think you'll quite enjoy. Let's get some trains running. Okay, so these are some leftover from last week. And yes, there are quite a few leftover. So if you can't see yours right now and you're due one, uh, don't worry, it will be coming. So we have Mayo Hosco on the outside line, I believe, wanted to see the Tango double heading with the 1361. Although they're not double heading, one is going to be banking the other because, uh, as with last week, I can't easily fit a front coupling. Uh, he wanted to see the egg vans. Uh, darn those egg vans. Uh, some Kit Kat vans, uh, some Pepsi tankers, and also a towed brake van. And he specifically wanted that on the outside line. I don't normally get, well, I don't normally let people choose which line they run requests on, but I let him choose. <laughs> Long straight, thank you so much. You want to see two small tank engines each end of a freight. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, if you want to send five pounds, five dollars, or the equivalent, I can certainly do that for you uh, on the stream. Thank you so much for the support. You are at least entered for the competitions. So, are you, Sparky? Uh, hi again for my second request. I'd like to see the Helgen Bay Garrett pulling some teak coaches, please. Absolutely. And thank you so much, Sparky. That's very kind. Anyway, the next one is from Mandalore the Mad, and that's the one on the very inside line. He wanted, this is really strange, but really cool request, to see a rainbow train. So he wants a red crab, that's at the front, as you can see, then an orange wagon, a yellow wagon, a green wagon, blue and purple. So I have actually managed to find uh, colours that match all of those. The purple wagon at the back is probably more of a sort of brick red, uh, but I'm guessing it will go as purple. And then the really interesting one was from Connolly 500 the Fox, who wanted to see my smallest steam loco hauling the railgun. Now, if he'd have said, oh, thank you, Kelly Ashford, 
hope the egg vans will behave. Oh, I hope they will as well. We'll have to see, won't we? And thank you so much, Lego Master, Lego Master 365. Hi, Sam. I'd love to see you run of your new O-Gale, O-Scale, oh. sorry, engines up the straight of track. No problem, Lego Master. I can certainly do that. And Radoslav Socha, sorry for pronouncing your name so badly, says hello. Hello to you as well, and thank you so much for your support. Anyway, on to that request I was talking about. If they'd have just asked for my smallest engine, I think that would have been easier because I could have picked the Rustin or something like that. But they did specify, Old Connolly did specify, wanted to see the smallest steam loco. And I believe, I could be wrong because I thought the Peckett was pretty small, but I believe Stevenson's Rocket has won that particular title. And that's a problem because obviously it really is tiny. It's only got one driven axle and it's not very powerful at all. The other problem is I've wired pickups into its tender and into its coach, which means it's got to have those. I can't take those off. So not only has it got to try and shift the rail gun, it's also got to shift its tender and the coach. So I don't think this is going to work. Uh, I know I've been proved wrong when I've said that in the past, but I'm pretty sure that is the case because it sometimes struggles with its own coach. But I'm going to give it a try. I've got the Peckett standing by, so if it can't manage it, and I don't think it will, at least not far. I'm hoping it will make it some distance, but when it gets to Gordon's Hill, yeah, it certainly won't. Uh, but yeah, if it fails, I've got the Peckett on hand, ready to go. And thank you, Bullman, for letting me know. We'll give this a try in just a second, uh, but we'll just read those that last one out. George Botterini, oh, thank you so, so much, George. And also thank you to Jared and Colin Whites, who sent in a donation before the stream. I really appreciate it. Okay, everybody, cross your fingers is Stevenson's rocket going to be able to manage the railgun? Almost certainly not, and it looks ludicrous to try, but here we go. Go on, rocket. It's wheel slipping. It's moving it, actually. If we get some speed up, we might actually get lucky with it. Obviously, I don't recommend you doing this with your Stevenson's rocket, because they're quite fragile locos. But as you can see, it is actually going. Oh, it stopped. Come on. I don't want to burn it out. Let's give it a little bit of a helping hand. There we go. Oh yes, yep, it's off now. How far, how far, how far? <laughs> that far, okay. Okay, 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 that's enough. Cut it off, cut it off. I'm gonna have to do some manual assistance here because I reckon it's it's in a bit of a, in a bit of a state, yeah. Can it get itself sorted? No, not really. Go on then, love. You did, you did a good try, I appreciate that. Okay, peck it time, I think then. So there we go, as per the request, I did try the smallest steam loco. Uh, it didn't end well, and I didn't think it would, but at least I managed to give it a go for you. So hopefully Connolly's not too disappointed in that. Right, right, you can go and have, uh, I don't know, what is it Stevenson's Rocket might like? I was gonna say a coffee, but that makes literally no sense. Uh, go and have some nice special coal or something, and uh, I'll see you later, hopefully. It will actually work again next time I try to run it. Hopefully its motor has not been done in. And then, oof, I can smell it. <laughs> There's a real burning smell in the air. That is not good. Uh, we could put the Peckett on, of course, and that will work a bit better, hopefully. Right, well, last time I tried to run the Tango on the, and the 1361 together. Uh, the 1361 didn't work, or 1361, 1631. I don't know what it is. Um, but it is actually working now, which is good. And then we have Mandalore's Rainbow Train. So there we go. Okay, let's have a go with those. Thank you very much, Joe Eason. He says he would love to see a review of a Dapple 68 if you ever get to pick one up. He recently got one from Rails of Sheffield, and you love it. That's cool. Uh, thank you so much for the support. You are entered for the giveaway and the special giveaway today, uh, as is everybody else. And I will bear that in mind. I'll certainly look into it. Uh, the Cluttered Desk 2. Thank you so, so much for that. He says, he just wants to say hi, keep up the great work. I no longer do model trains, but it's nice to see what's going on in the hobby either way. Uh, either way, for the request, I'd just, just do whatever you like. Ooh, we might have to give that one to the audience then. Thank you so much for that. Uh, the cluttered desk too, I really appreciate it. And it's pretty crazy that you're not into model trains and you're watching. Uh, there's quite a few people that tell me that actually. So that is quite unbelievable. But no, I appreciate the support. I mean, obviously anybody is welcome. And we'll see if we can't do something about the fact that you're uh, not into model trains or that you no longer do model trains. <laughs> a, a lot of people that uh, start watching model railway videos suddenly find that they are doing model trains again. <laughs> or so I hear. So I hear. Oh. Well done, Mr. Tango. Well done. You're performing exactly as I expect. <laughs> 
What even happened there? Come on. I'm going to make sure all the wheels are on the track. Okay. Oh, that's strange. I was expecting it to be the oh, no. egg vans to mess up, <laughs> but it wasn't. Uh, in big block, we trust. Okay, that's a new username that I don't recognise. Hello, Sam, is it possible to run... What is going on? I just... Did anybody see anything there? Sorry. <laughs> I just heard, it like, a cracking noise. Oh, keep an eye on it, folks. <laughs> Let me know if you spot anything unusual. Sorry, what did I just miss? Is it possible to run the Class 45 pushing the Beal hack plough, please? Yes, of course, I can certainly do that. In Big Block, we trust. Thank you very much to you. The Ugly Duck Man, he says, double-headed peckets on a goods train, please. Of course, Duck Man, I can certainly do that. And thank you very much to you. No problem. Right, how's the pecket getting on? Ooh, not bad. Well, she's obviously done at least a lap I've not been watching closely but the fact that she's there suggests she's definitely at least done one lap so that is really pretty good but the Peckets are pretty powerful actually uh, a lot more so than the Rockets I will be interested to know actually I've not thought of this before but I wonder how powerful the new Hornby Rockets are going to be I don't have one yet so I can't possibly answer that but I'd be very interested to know I mean they come with three coaches so I'm, a, I'm guessing they'll manage three coaches without a problem, but will they? Will they really? That's the big question. MCW Records, thank you so, so much. Uh, he says, can you run the War Livery City Class? Yes, of course I can. And thank you so much for that donation. Uh, that is not a currency I recognise, in my ignorance. And I got that noise again. What was that? Is there a wire in the way? I don't think so. Oh, we've got a bit of fence in the way. That's probably it. <laughs> One of my 3D... No, it's not 3D printed. It's like a, a laser cut fence. Yeah, that was in the way. I wonder if that did it. Right, we'll bring these to a stop then. So thank you very much to everybody who sent in a request. Uh, I've come down to the front and all the engines are up the other end of the room. So just bear with me a second. See if we can actually find some. Oh, there we go. Let's follow the tango then, shall we? And see if we can't uh, spot any more mishaps. Well, we'll keep a close eye on it over those points and see if it's going to throw itself off the track again. <laughs> Yeah, that's really strange. I mean, I know it's not a very good model, at least not in my opinion, but it's never derailed like that before, at least not there, I don't think. Greetings from America, Carter Hewitt, thank you so much. Hope yourself with all this sickness running around. Do you have any plans for the something, something scale? Did he say N scale? Let's have a look. Oh, let me stop these other engines. Hang on. What did he put? Uh, for the N scale Backman Thomas. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any direct plans, no, um, but I personally would be really interested to know what they're like. So if anybody does get some of them, uh, please let me know what they're like. I'd love to know. Okay. There. <laughs> All over. Thank you. Okay, folks, so that was... Mayo Hosco, Mandalore the Mad, and Connolly 500 the Fox. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay, right. Question time. Not the Q&A time, just question time. What do you think is in the box? Uh, whatever it is didn't come in this box. I put it in the box as, uh, I don't know, just to cover it up, to confuse and delay. Um, but it is a new product. It has just been released over the last week or so. Your guess, what do you think it is? I'm going to open it in just a second. Let's see, I'll, I'll be interested to know what people think it is. Uh, people have been saying they think it's a loco. Obviously now you've seen the box, I'm guessing not. Uh, what do you think it is? Are you going to be excited by it, I wonder? Is it going to be massively underwhelming? Maybe that's a clue, maybe it's not. Can I have a shout out please, says Freight Fan <laughs> 4472 And you Hyodo. <laughs> Sorry for that pronunciation. I bought my first two trains 15 years after finding your channel. 15 years? Uh, we have a time traveller in the chat, folks. <laughs> I've only been going for about seven. Uh, it was the Hatton's Andrew Barclay 040 and a Broadway Limited 282 Heavy Mikado. Very nice. Uh, I can't speak for the 282, but I know the Barclays are really good. So, good. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear you're having a good time. Nothing, says Collins TV Tube. To be honest, there's nothing more underwhelming than nothing itself. So that's 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 a good guess. Chet's train says something. Yep, yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, pieces of loco, Spencer said. Mm, interesting. Prop, says Miguel. Figure man, says Fabian268. Figure man. <laughs> Uh, it is, is it coupling, says Adam Rushton. Oh, very interesting. A car, says the cynical engineer. Oh, what a cynical remark. 
lol, says Colin Stevie Tube. A new track cleaner, yeah, it's about a track cleaner size. Shall we just reveal it then? Shall we see? There's a lot of guesses going on. Uh, nobody's got it, I don't think. Okay. The box. Can't hear any noise. Can't, oh no, I can now. <laughs> I was going to say, have I not actually put it inside? Are you ready? Ah. <laughs> Look, it's a badge. Well, I shouldn't just say badge. It's not a badge. It is a 1920 to 2020 100 year centenary badge. I wish I had a do, 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 sound effect. Oh. Okay. And I thought, you know what? What better thing to do than to worship this badge together on a live stream? So it's not an unboxing. Well, it is because I put it in a box. Don't know if that counts. It is an unbagging. Are you ready? I'm going to wear it for the rest of the stream. Imagine that. I thought about reviewing it in depth, but I thought uh, after the pen incident, uh, people would probably hurt me if I did that. Sparky, thank you so much. He says, hi Ken, for my last request, I would like to see something. Uh, I would, your last request. I hope you're not leaving us, Sparky. <laughs> uh, this Princess Coronation streamline with Bowman, the railgun, some Kit Kat box fans, please. No problem. We could certainly do that for you. Thank you very much, Sparky. Okay. Oh. I've just dropped the gold badge. Well, I don't know what I expected to happen. Okay. So it's clearly got quite a lot of die cast on it. And there's also quite a lot of weight on the back. <laughs> I've just noticed that the actual pin seems to be off kilter somewhat. Really? Is it me? Or is that far to the right hand side? Is that even going to sit properly on me if I put that on? What? Really? Okay, fair enough. Well, let's put it on. There's one way to find out. I'm probably going to stab myself, and I want to do this hopefully without flashing, because uh, we don't want this to become X-rated or something like that. Ronan's Railways, thank you so much. Can I have a Ren A4 and the Garrett with the Railgun HST style? Yes, of course you can. That will be very interesting. Thanks, Ronan. Appreciate that. Right, am I managing this? Yeah, as expected, because the badge doesn't have a central pin, it's sort of sits on the side like that well done hornby you've managed to make it more naff than the pen <laughs> look at that right look make it level make it level move around a bit simulate moving around look what happens it's off kilter again brilliant uh so now you look incredibly special yes well i do i don't know why i'm saying you do okay great well i'm glad i've got that on now i'm not going to take it off again but we'll see Sam's blood adds fiver to its value. That's true. That's true. I might try and sell it on eBay. The badge that killed Sam's trains. Excellent. No, I didn't hurt myself. No, it was okay. <laughs> so far, I might hurt myself getting it off again. We'll see. Anyway, let's see how people are doing. Let's do a few more shout outs and then we'll do some more requests and then we'll get on to uh, the, uh, the main bulk of the, the show and stuff. Uh, shout me out, run all your favourite trains in the line, says Carson Warner. Uh, the trouble is I've got about 400 favourite trains, so that would not be an easy thing to do. In fact, it would destroy my controllers, I'm sure, to try. Review the badge, Sam. Does it have sprung buffers, a five-pole motor? Lee, unfortunately, I tried to spring the buffer, but it ended up in a sort of injury. So, unfortunately, I can't tell you that. I don't think so. Uh, Sam, I remember when you saw my village video. Oh yes, I remember I looked, didn't I, Colin? Yes, it was very good. I enjoyed looking at that. Love the badge, says the Scottish train spotter. I love that the one function of the badge, right, to have the pin in the middle so that it sits sort of level on the shirt or whatever you pin it onto. The one thing, the one feature that was necessary has been cocked up on it. I just think that, <laughs> that's so brilliant. Uh, I didn't notice that before today, actually. Um, yeah. I didn't know what I was going to say about it, actually, so I'm glad there was something to talk about. Shout out, please. I woke at 7 a.m. to see you, says John Jonathan Mahalamista. Sorry, I got that wrong. Almost certainly. Uh, well, I appreciate the, the dedication. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a double O gauge layout, says Extreme Dudes. Ooh, very good. So do I. Although, perhaps it's not really a layout. Uh, it's probably a bit, uh, a bit of a generous thing to call it, isn't it? Uh, what's your next O-Gage Loco plan? Oh, well, I'll talk about that soon. Uh, I did ask you guys in a poll in the O-Gage video uh, which O-Gage Loco I should look at first, and there was a clear answer, and I'm thinking I'm going to follow the answer. So check out the O-Gage video if you're interested. Anyway, let's get to some more of the requests, then. These are going to be some from last week, so strap yourself in. Let's take a look at them. 
So this first one is from Shining Time 4 who wanted to see the J11 with a mixed goods train and then an LNER brake van on the back. So there you go Shining Time 4, thank you so so much to you for your kind support. And of course a very good choice of loco, not one that gets requested very often that, so it's quite a pleasure to see that one running in a stream, so thank you Shining Time 4. So next up, a huge thank you to Ronan's Railways. He wanted to see all of the wagons I bought at the train fair from last week's stream. So check that out if you haven't seen it already. So here they all are, all of the wagons, the more modern ones are at the front and the more old fashioned ones are at the back. And the loco I picked was the lovely Hornby P2. So let's get that running for Ronan's Railways. Thank you to you. There we go. And very, very pleased to see these wagons run. This is the first time, actually, I've ever run them. So, very cool. Thanks, Ronan. Next up, Terence Priestley wanted me to show him, or prove to him, rather, that DAPO locomotives can run well. So I've picked my best running DAPO loco. I always get this one mixed up, whether it's a class 21 or a class 23. I think it's a class 23, but if I'm wrong, please do let me know. But either way, Terence, thank you to you. Hopefully that is case closed for you. That does prove that DAPO locos can run really, really well. And as you can see, this one certainly does. So cheers, Terence. Appreciate your support, as always. Very kind. So this next one is from Robert Osborne, I need to turn it up a bit actually, uh, he wanted to see an HST but rather than with the coaches, in fact it's good that it's going slow while I tell you about this, except it has now stopped, okay, anyway I'll speed it up in a sec, instead of coaches he wanted to see Robert's wagons which is of course his name, so I'll give this a little bit more juice, it's got the CD motor in it and we'll see if we can't get it to fly around shall I? So there we go for Robert Osborne. Appreciate the support, sir, very much so. And what a cool idea this was too. <laughs> well, let's have it thunder up Gordon's Hill for him. That's it. I do love the unusual requests. They're always a lot of fun to run. So, yep, that one is very cool. So this one is from the LMS engines who wanted to see the Backman Class 45, which is my favourite diesel, so that's awesome. Double heading with a standard class 4 and Pullman coaches. And that looks fantastic. Uh, really, really cool. So thank you for that one, the LMS engines. Interestingly, neither of those are LMS engines, which uh, I was surprised by. They're actually working well together though. As you can see, the standard four wheels are going around, well, at, at the right speed. They're not, it's not being dragged along or... It's not shoving the 45 along, so actually that looks to be a pretty good match there. Very good. <laughs> Can't get over how awesome and weird that looks all at once. And finally, this is one from Trace Pierce, who wanted to see the H1 Atlantic with some Pullman coaches in order to commemorate Beachy Head. And of course, what a beauty the H1 really is. Uh, can never get over how lovely that loco actually is. Gorgeous, gorgeous thing. So that one was for Trace Pierce. And once again, thank you very, very much. Okay, we are back. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed those and thank you so much to everybody. I know I said thank you a lot during that little tape, uh, but I do appreciate it. So thank you so much. I'll just go and grab my sheet then and I'll show you what's coming up next. Man, I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. I've literally just been charging around the loft to get those done. So yes, I apologize if I'm out of breath. In fact, while I am so tired, <laughs> let's see what people are saying. How's everybody doing? Everyone all right? Everyone having a good time? Miguel says big boy. I don't have a big boy. I would love one though. That would be great. Uh, the ugly duck man. What's the ugly duck man saying? Bullman burgers. I would never suggest eating Bullman duck man. I've never talked about that before. Tut, tut, tut. Uh, loving the railways. Utter brill. Your work pays off, says Stuart Cope. Thank you. That's really kind. I appreciate that. 
Oh, Rob's just got one of the H1s. Wonderful. They are really good, aren't they, actually? Really lovely models. Uh, can you run your pacer, says Jacobs Railways. Unfortunately, the pacer has been banned by the local authorities because it does cook its passengers, which is a shame. Maybe in the summer, where we need to do a barbecue or whatever, I'll get it out. Uh, but yeah, if you want to request that, I can certainly run the pacer. Uh, Ryan says, hello, Sam. Welcome to you. Hello. Uh, love your videos. Keep it up, says Scott Green. Thanks, Scott. Really kind. Uh, the badge is better quality than Helgen. Yes, that is true. Even though it's uh, gone on the wonk again. Yes, it certainly is. That's true. <laughs> DJ Speed Blogs, hello to you. Do you plan on going to the Driffield model event on Saturday? No, I don't, unfortunately. That's not one I'm, I'm familiar with. But uh, if you're going, uh, keep safe. I hope you have a good time. Get some good bargains. Uh, I got an l &ER Seagull, an A4. Ooh, I like the look of that one. Uh, very good. Look after it. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, me Un says, how are you? I'm very good, thanks, me, and I hope you're okay as well. Thank you very much for the support. Of course, you're entered for the competition. Christian Mann again. Here's an idea. The HO4F and the 004F double heading an LMS freight train. That's a really good idea. The only problem with that is I'll have to work on how I can do that because the 4F, if I show you, in fact, not only does it have a slightly dodgy coupling, <laughs> uh, it doesn't actually have a suitable one. So, the tender is a little bit loose. In fact, it's very loose. Let me show you this. Um, anyway, yeah, it has the sort of European... No, it doesn't. I think it has like a, a US knuckle coupler on it or something like that. Uh, but the, the tender body sort of pinches it in place, holds it where it is, and mine's come out. I do have it. I'll put it down somewhere. I don't know where it is right now. I do have it. Um, but yeah, I might have to try and put a, a modern coupling in there, like a Hornby tension lock or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I could probably do that. Uh, I'll save it for next week, Christian. But thank you so much. Yes, I can do that. Uh, what does the front of the engine have on it, just out of interest? Does it have a coupling? No, no. So the actual loco, the tender driven loco, uh, doesn't have a front coupling. So it would have to be fitted onto the back maybe um yeah and i'd have to have the the lever on the front but yeah i could do that no problem and luke hill says shout out please so there we go that's one for you okay let me show you what's set up next then so here are the next few requests as you can see we have a little bit of a great western theme there with the exception of barracaldo on the middle line so what do we have shining time for wanted to see the grange class with a, a great western express a gwr express so there's some coaches there uh, that is the weathered loco on the middle line as you can see kelly ashford wanted to see broom manor with some egg vans so thank you kelly uh, for making me run those horrible egg vans again but, like I say, ever since I tinkered with them, they do seem to behave themselves now on stream, which is really good. And then Sparky uh, wanted to see the Barricaldo and Ocean Wagons, and he's really lucky because I kept the uh, tension lock, uh, the NEM tension lock coupling fitted to Barricaldo. I didn't refit the European sort of hook and loop style coupling. And if I had have done that, uh, I wouldn't have been able to hook it up to any of my British rolling stocks. So, yeah, fortunately, I uh, haven't had to change the coupling, which is good. Okay, so here's Kelly's favourite engine, Broom Manor. I wonder if Kelly's favourite engine has changed uh, since I've acquired that O-Gage 4F. I know she said she liked that one, so uh, you'll have to let us know in the chat, Kelly. Uh, I'm pretty sure her favouritism is unshakable, but uh, I'm willing to try, willing to try. So thank you folks for those. Let's follow these round a little bit. Let's see how the, the Great Western Express goes on. Yeah, it's looking good. I'll have to make sure Barracaldo's all right in a second as well. Just let the Great Western Express go by. Yeah, the Grange looks lovely, doesn't it? Really, really nice. And of course, seeing the manor, wherever it's gone, have we missed it? Uh, well, yeah, seeing the manor. It makes me very excited for the Dapple one. Dapple have announced a brand new manor class, which I'll talk about more in the a news video of some description but yeah very exciting stuff uh, can't wait to see what they're like and i think they're quite reasonably priced as well as far as these things go uh, i'm just having a slight bit of confusion because i can't see barracaldo anywhere uh, even with my eyes let alone on the cameras so where on earth has it gone <laughs> that is crazy how has it just disappeared Unless it's still, oh, it stopped on points, out of out of sight. Let's give it a little nudge. I perhaps need it to go a bit faster. Yeah, that's the only problem really with the Barracaldo. It does. It seems to stop on points quite a lot. Right, are we better now? Yeah, there we go. She's just shot underneath the shot there. Shot. I'm using that word quite a lot. Disappeared underneath the shot. There we go. <laughs> 
not making any sense today. There we go, that's better. We'll have to keep an eye on her then, see if she's going to cut out on the points and things. Hopefully not. There we go. There's the Great Western Express, looking really lovely, obviously. And um, Broom Manor just coming in, looking great too. Yeah, got to love Broom Manor. Uh, with the wrong tender, has anyone noticed that in the chat? I'm not sure. What did I miss, is Amaro Machias Rodriguez? Uh, not too much, not too much. Uh, you, you're still relatively early on, so hopefully you've not missed too much. Right, let's see how that Barracaldo gets on on those points. Did Sam run a coal train with an HST? Yes, I did. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, don't blame me for it. It was uh, Robert asked for it, but yes, I did. And I quite enjoyed it too. I thought it was pretty good. Wind turbines up and running again, as you can see. Although it was last week, of course. But uh, yeah, new motor and gearbox in there, so that's all working again. <laughs> Phew. So there we go. Thank you, folks, for those. And uh, I think I'll go and stop that Great Western Express before it embarks on another lap. There we go. Yeah, the good old Hornby Grange there, looking really good. There we are. Good runner as well, that one. Uh, I did suspect that the motor was a bit dodgy in that one, but it seems to be all right, touch wood. So, yeah, quite happy with that. Let's just check that. See, it does run a little bit on the slow side. That's half speed there, but no, I would say that's about right. It's not racing along at top speed though, although it does forwards. Yeah, there's not there's something not 100% right about it, but it uses a type of motor. Oop, that was a bit of a sudden stop. Sorry, Kelly, I think we've got scrambled eggs again. Uh, it uses a type of motor of which I have many spares, so it isn't a problem, I don't think. Uh, the Imperial Diamond Spinosaurus. It's nice to see you again. Uh, is So is this counted as an entry to the contest? Yes, it is. Uh, as I say, everybody that sends in a super chat is uh, put forward, put on the list for uh, to be drawn for the competition, just as a thank you, really, because I, I do appreciate the support. And uh, the same thing goes with the requests, obviously. It's all just to say thank you, but uh, I do appreciate it nonetheless. So there we have it. Barracaldo. Very good. So, yeah, that actually, once it warmed up, it didn't stop on the points again, did it? So that is fairly good. Okay, so thank you to everybody. That was Shining Time for... Kelly Ashford and, of course, Sparky129 Games. Thank you very much for those requests. Right, so next up, I'm going to go off and have a little bit of a break. Well, it's not a break. I'm going to set up the next lot of requests. Uh, so while we do go on the break, you've got a task. You've got to try and think of questions, because when we come back, I'm going to try and do a Q&A. So you can ask me anything you like. It can be about me. It can be about the engines, trains, anything you like. Uh, obviously, it's got to be clean and reasonable, uh, so be careful. But within reason, I will answer any questions. So save them, think of them, and we will have a specialised chat session, a Q&A session rather, in just a minute. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in just five minutes with some more requests and some more stuff to talk about. So let's do that, and I will see you in just two minutes or five. <laughs> Okay, we are back. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry for the delay. Uh, yeah, you're going crazy with the request today. I love the weird ones, don't get me wrong. Obviously, they just take a little bit longer to do. Uh, but yeah, you won't believe some of the uh, requests we've got coming up next. So those are really awesome. Anyway, I'm going to start off by thanking all of the Super Chats. So these are for all of you guys that have donated today. Here we go. I've just got to get up to the top of the list. So we have Colin Wikes, Jared S.A.R., AZ Rail, Jimmy81, who became an apprentice engineer. So welcome, Jimmy. Thank you to you. Jay, Shining Time 4, Kelly Ashford, Sparky129 Games, Mayo Hosco, British and American Railways, William Town, uh, Whammy Christian Man, uh, sorry, Rummy, Whammy Radio by Christian Man, if you like, uh, Archie Wyatt, or Archie Watt, sorry, 19. I, I'll tell you what, I'm getting the names wrong today, aren't I? Uh, me on Dan, Dan, Don Antonio. I need my eyes checking, is what I need. Lakota Theoroff, Sparky129 Games, Longsight, Lego Master 365, Kelly Ashford, Radoslaw Sacha. I always get that wrong, even if I am in, a, in the right frame of mind. George Botterini, Fox Hill Railway, Joe Easton, uh, thank you to you. The Cluttered Desk 2, uh, in big block we trust, there we go. The Ugly Duck Man, MCW Records, uh, Carter Hewitt, Yu Achiao, <laughs> Sparky129 Games, Ronan's Railways, Vic's Train Corner, Christothorpe Junction, Christothorpe, I guess, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Adam. I don't think I saw these chats, so I'm just going to thank these people individually. So it was Vic's Train Corner. He says, hello from Fredericksburg, I guess, Virginia. Keep up, keep it up. 
Can't wait to see you run some scale, some O scale engines underwater. <laughs> Just a joke, keep up the videos. Yeah, don't count on it, don't count on it, but maybe one day. Chris Thorpe Junction says five pounds, the good, the bad, and the fugly. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Crouching Tiger Hidden Adam says you just need another badge for symmetry. Yes, that's true. Another wonky one for symmetry, I guess. Uh, Austin Machin, Machin uh, runs some W World War One. Sorry, Kharki locos. Uh, certainly, that's a great idea, Austin. Yes, I'll certainly do that. Thank you to you. Me on, I saw yours. I saw Whammy Radio by Christian Man, so that's fine. The Imperial Diamond Spinosaurus. Thank you to you, Kelly Ashford again. Oh, she says her favourite is still Broom Manor. Then we have Oliver McMahon who donated 500 pounds well thank you to you for that i'm guessing that was a mistake so hopefully you can get that refunded uh i don't believe i have the option to do that no i don't uh but yeah hopefully if you get in touch with youtube they can refund that for you but thank you to you either way uh, be careful with the amounts you put in folks uh william town someone on the chat donated 500 no joke yeah i know i know i just i saw that uh, oliver let us know do you mean to do that i'm guessing not because he's uh, retracted his message uh but yeah hopefully you'll be able to hopefully you'll be able to get that refunded um we'll see uh, i can't just give you 500 pounds back because i don't get all of the money youtube takes quite a lot of it uh me on do you collect any model railway magazines no i don't me no i never have done uh, but i would like to so thanks to all of those folks you are all of course entered for the various uh, competitions you're entered for the series one it's not really a competition i don't know why i keep calling it that it's just a, like a thank you giveaway type thing with the barricaldo engine of course Everyone who super chat is going to be ready for that, entered for it rather. We have Brazing, who's going to be given away. And you've only got a few minutes left now for the house. We're, I'm giving away a house, can you believe it? It's like a proper TV show. Uh, this one's small, you probably can't live in it unless you're pretty tiny. I guess if you're a spider, you could. Don't know how many spiders, spiders are watching. We've got a fox watching, but that doesn't count. And of course the post boxes are going with it as well. So thanks to everybody, you are entered for that. Uh, yep, yeah, keep them coming in. You've still got chance to enter for that, but they are going pretty soon. Okay, let's do it then. Let's do the Q&A. Unleash your questions and I will do my best to answer them. If I'm not answering and you've got a really good question, if you think it's a good question and I'm not seeing it, do keep putting it in the chat and um, I will hopefully see it. And obviously once I've answered it, don't keep putting it in, otherwise I won't be able to see the other questions. How long does it take to dismantle your layout, says Sam Haslam? I don't know the answer to that. I've never done it. Uh, the track has been on the floor now for about seven, seven, eight years, something like that. It's never been dismantled, so I couldn't tell you. Probably quite a long time, because some of it's uh, sort of glued down. Uh, DC or DCC, Robert G. Walker. For practicality reasons, I prefer DC, although obviously DCC is a lot of, lot of fun, that must be said. Uh, if you could get any model loco free of charge, what would it be and why? It would probably be one of the Broadway big boys, uh, only because they're so expensive and I wouldn't be able to buy one otherwise. But uh, yeah, that's probably one I would choose. Uh, Ryan, thank you, Aber, Abernathy, I guess it is, Abernathy. Uh, thank you very much. Do you love the channel? Could you run an American F unit? Do I have such a thing? Uh, if I do, I can certainly give it a try. If not, I apologise. Obviously, it does have to be something I own, but I will I will try. I will do my best. Uh, Carter Hewitt says, do you have a PO box? Um, that's just disappeared. I used to, but I don't have it anymore. Uh, I did cancel it just because, uh, yeah, I, I stopped doing the servicing and there was no point keeping it open. Uh, but you can send it on, uh, you can send me stuff via email if you'd like to. Uh, how do you super chat? There's a little dollar sign down in the chat. That's what you can use. Uh, that's how you can submit requests and get entered of course navy dodd thank you so much to you i like to see the backman edward with five tr troublesome trucks and a toad have a great day from portland oregon usa um what's he put would you the big boy yes i would if i could afford to and thanks to you i might be able to one day navy dog so thank you very much and tim watts as well thank you uh, have you ever returned a train, says Jason J. Yes, I returned the Dapol 121 bubble car a few weeks ago uh, because I could not get one that worked, unfortunately. Are you planning to review the, a Backman Thomas and Friends Percy, says Sodor Engineer? Maybe. That is one that I haven't done, so if I can get one for a good price, I probably would do. Uh, can you put Flying Scotsman on the layout, says Lewis H. Yes, I could do if you want to request it. I certainly can. That would not be a problem. Uh, Gareth Waite, thank you so much. Hope you're well. Could you run my favourite grey P class with the Peckett of your choice and the Evans and Bevan wagon and whatever else tar? No problem, Gareth. Yes, I can definitely do that. And thank you very much for your support. Hannah B says, what is your favourite loco? I think it might have changed. I think 
in real life, my favourite model would still be the Merchant Navy class. I think in model form, I would probably choose the C1 now um, because I just love that one so much. But there are a lot of really good models. Do I think the C1 is the best model? Absolutely not. But do I think it's my favourite? Yes, probably. Uh, but, but what do you think of Alton Hall, Hogwarts Express, the Iron Ingot says? I really like it and I think it's lovely. I've seen it at the studio tour uh, in London and yeah, I think it looks cool. Uh, Formal Trick says live steam or electric. I would have to go with electric personally. I've never tried a live steam, although I'm sure I would like them. Uh, what is the best engine in your collection? Ooh, says Whammy Radio by Christian Man. That is tricky. Um, the best. So you said best and not favourite. That's quite difficult. Ah, what did I give 10? I gave the King class 10 out of 10, the Hornby King class. They're probably up there. The Hornby Princess, the new Hornby Princess is pretty fantastic. Maybe that one. Uh, it might be an O-Gage Loco that I haven't yet reviewed. Well, maybe I have reviewed it, read between the lines, but not showed it yet. Ooh, could be, could be that one. Uh, Ryan, he says, can we get double header with the Peckett and the B4? That's a good idea, Ryan. Thank you very much for the support, and yes, I can try that. Good idea. Thank you very much. Uh, good starter train, says Elizabeth Lukok. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm guessing you're asking what would be a good starter train, I'm guessing. Um, any of the Hornby Railroad stuff, I would say, particularly the A4, the A3, Flying Scotsman, anything like that. Uh, for me, I think they're really, really good to start with because they're a little bit more interesting than the O4Os, I would probably say. What's the most detailed train you have, in your opinion, says Mercedes 8192. Um, well, that's tricky. I think the most detail I've seen is the Hatton's Class 66, although Hatton's just loaned that to me, so it's not one that I have. If I had to say one I have, it would probably have to be the Hornby Princess, the new one. Uh, that was amazingly well detailed. Um, but obviously, I'm just talking off the top of my head here. I haven't had a chance to sit down and really think about those answers. But yeah, off the top of my head, I would say that's the case. Uh, can you tell me how to put lights in a police box, says Jim McMillan. Yeah, um, all I did was I had a model helicopter. You can see it over there on the left-hand side. It doesn't look very good in this shot, but it does look a little bit better to the eye. A model helicopter, I think it was a Sima brand one, and it had a flashing LED. And obviously, like I do with most things, I crashed the helicopter after a while. Well, I didn't crash it, actually. It wore out. Uh, the gears, one of the gears sheared off, I think, and cracked and split. Um, the battery went bad. I had to replace the battery. I did get a lot of life out of it. And before I scrapped it, before I took all the motors out of it and everything and scrapped them for parts, I took out that LED and put it into the police box. So that's the story of that. If you can get a colour-changing LED uh, or a red and blue flashing one, that's, uh, that's what you need. What's your favourite train and why, says Sergeant Sylvain. Uh Yeah, I think it's the C1 Atlantic, and the reason is simply because of the livery, I would say, and how good it looks. Uh, Extreme Dude says he got the Princess Royal. Very good. Uh, they are very, very lovely models for sure. Hannah B wants a shout out. There you go, Hannah. Hopefully you got that. Um, are you a Christian, says the Flying Scotsman Productions. Uh, no, I do not have a religion. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh, and the Duckman's literally just deleted that message. No, that's okay. You can ask. You can ask questions like that. Um, but obviously, you can believe what you like, and that is not a problem to me. I would always stand by your right to believe in whatever you want to. Uh, when are you going to do an April Fools' video for this year? Says Miguel. I thought I would do it on the first of uh, well May this year. How about that? That would be uh, an interesting date, wouldn't it? Uh, do you have an InCity 125, says Chase Van De Veer. Yes, I do. I have quite a few of them, including quite a nice grey one, uh, which I just picked up not too long ago. Uh, do you like the Titanic, says Tyler the Gamer. Yes, I like the Titanic. Uh, I wouldn't have liked to have been on it, if that's what you mean. But uh, yeah, they're, they're all right. Do you have a pet, says Carson Warner. Yeah, we have a pet, Buddy the Hamster. He's on Instagram if you want to see him. There's a picture of him climbing all over one of my low max or something. Simon the Plants Man, thanks so much. Uh, what is your favourite loco under £100? That is a difficult question, Simon the Plants Man. That would have to be the Oxford N7, I would say. Uh, off the top of my head once again. Very, very good. Uh, can we expect a big boy review, uh, says Carl Nuts? Um, well, possibly, but not in the immediate future. I don't have any plans right now. Will you ever go engage, says Ronan's Railways? Same answer, really, possibly, but not in the immediate future. I would like to, though, for both of those questions. Paul Laters uh, says, be nice to see some more of the old trying locos you have running. I used to love my Battle of Britain class I used to own. That's a very, very good point. Uh, let us know in the chat. Do you want to see more trying locos? I get the feeling that some people aren't really interested in the vintage uh, locos. 
So obviously a lot of what I do is trying to show people what they want to see, but I personally really like them. So maybe I'll do some more trying one day. Uh, Casp Wimro says, shout out, there you go. Uh, Claps, favorite Great Western Tender Loco. Do you know that might be the county class, the 440? Hmm. Possibly, yeah. Uh, only because it's a bit different, really, isn't it, to all the 460s, which are lovely, but they can get a little samey, I suppose, as nice as they are. Uh, can you run Emily with two LNER Teak coaches, please? Unfortunately, that's not one I can do, Amaro, uh, because my Emily has broken. Uh, the motor's popped, and I've not been able to find a replacement. So she's now freewheeling, so she can double head and be pulled along by another engine. But uh, unfortunately, she can't run on her own. Me on says, do you collect any railway books? Uh, I don't collect them, but I do have a handful, yes. So maybe I'll look at them on stream one day. Um, so yes, and a few people sent some to me actually, uh, I know why not sent some, Douglas, and um, was it Colin, uh, no, no it wasn't Colin, uh, who was it, who was it, who was Andrew, it was Andrew in New York sent them, uh, sent me a few books, I really like those. How did the Bullman get started, Whammy Radio by Christian Man, there was a user, I've not heard from him for ages, I'd like to, called Janice and Cliff, he used to make really cool videos, he used to put all sorts of toys and that in his video just to make them more interesting and you know for people to spot I suppose. And that's sort of where I got the idea from. He never put a cow on a low Mac, I don't believe. Uh, but it was the, the, you know, just it was the, uh, the idea really. The, the what, what would we call it? What's the word I'm looking for? The concept, I suppose. It was the concept that uh, I got from him. Uh, do you play Roblox? Says uh, on Ar Ar Arvind Mohan. Uh, a lot of people ask me that. No, I don't play Roblox. Uh, Minecraft, sure, but not Roblox. Never have. Uh, although if it's good, maybe I should give it a go. Posh Boy HD says, "Can I have a shout out?" Sure, you can. There you go. No problem at all. Happy to give shout outs if I spot them. Uh, what is the nearest heritage steam railway to you? That's tricky. Um, I'm not exactly sure as the crow flies. Uh, I would say the biggest one is the Great Central in Loughborough, and that's pretty close. Matt Daniels, which is your favourite network from the <laughs> Big Four? That has to be the Southern Railway, I think. And thank you very much, Matt, for that. Really appreciate it. William Town, can we have a funeral for your Backman Thomas, the tank engine models which have stopped running? Uh, we could do, but then that would sort of put them to rest, wouldn't it? I'm hoping to get them fixed one day if I can find suitable motors. Uh, so perhaps a funeral would be unwise if they're going to come back to life one day. I don't want to have some sort of Jesus scenario going on with any of my engines. <laughs> but uh, maybe, maybe a funeral would be an interesting <laughs> idea. John's Railway, yes, you can have a shout out, of course. Uh, will you run your pair Marquette? I could do the Iron Ingot. Yes, I could if, if requested. I certainly could. Worst model ever, in my opinion. Uh, I would have to say the Helgen 1361. Um, although, if you, if you disagree, obviously, that's absolutely fine. But uh, in my opinion, that's the worst. Maybe I got unlucky, but I don't think so. Some aspects of it would probably look, um, but the mechanism is going to be the same on them all. And from what I've seen, the messy die casting and the bent running plates, they're consistent among quite a lot of them. Uh, can you do more 360 videos, says Spencer McEwen? Yes, I've only ever done one, haven't I? I'd love to do more. Um, I probably need a better camera though, because the quality wasn't great, was it? But yeah, I would love to do more for sure one day. Do you like Monster Truck, says BL4ZE, plushy emerald, <laughs> interesting name to try and say. I do like them, I don't know much about them, uh, but any huge machines are cool in my book, so yes, I would say yes. Um, what's your lowest scoring locos as Jacobs Railways? That I don't know. The trouble is I change my rating system every year, so the, the, the categories change a bit. This year it's obviously the 1361. Of all time, I'm not entirely certain, I, it's difficult to say. Uh, what is the best set, I'm guessing, to, oh, sorry, the best to get started, Hornby or Backman, okay, says David Piper. Hornby, I would say, in my opinion, they have a much better range and the value is much better, which obviously is pretty important, there you go. It's very important if you're trying to get started, that's what I would say. What's your best shunter? Ooh, that's difficult. Well, it depends what you consider a shunter, doesn't it, really? Maybe the Peckett, I would say, the Peckett, uh, either Peckett, W4 or B2, either of them are really, really good. Uh, what would be your favourite diesel in your collection? Uh, the favourite is different to best, isn't it? So I would say my favourite is the Class 20, um, but my Class 20 is a Lima. They're definitely not the best models I've got. Uh, but if, we're, if you're asking favourite, and you are, uh, I would definitely say that, yeah, the Class 20. Uh, oh, the Extreme Dude saw the Flying Scotsman last weekend. That is fantastic. Hope you had a good time. 
And please, can you review the Helgen Class 14, please, says Ashley Wilson. Yeah, I'm always willing to take requests. Uh, well, suggestions, not necessarily requests, but we can certainly look into that. I will I'll have a look. And spam, says Adam Ruston. <laughs> very good. Uh, yeah, I guess you got me right there. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for those. If you didn't get your question answered, I'm so sorry. We'll maybe do this again next week. Uh, let me know in the comments, yes or no, if you'd like uh, another question and answer session. And I'll look at the comments before next week and decide whether I'm going to do more. First of all, though, let's get on to the uh, next round of requests. Yes, let's do that. Okay, and this is what I mean about them being quite complicated to achieve. You can see we've got rail guns, we've got cranes, egg vans, the tango. <laughs> all my favourites, all my favourites. And the cluttered desk too, thanks so much. What's your thought on Transformers? I stopped going trains due to the prices getting so much. What? Transformers? You mean power transformers or like the the <laughs> the movies, the characters rather? I stopped going to train fairs due to the prices getting too much. It's now just model kite for me now. Um, well, transformers, electrical transformers, I like. They're very useful for stepping down voltage and stuff. The Transformers as characters, I don't know very much about, so hopefully that covers uh, both bases. And yeah, as for the prices, I can only agree with you, yeah, the prices are a little bit silly. There's not an awful lot we can do about it, although I'm trying to have your back. <laughs> if there's ever an opportunity to kick off about the prices of models, I try and take it. So hopefully that is all we can do. And that's, you know, vote with your wallets, that's all I can say, folks. If something seems too expensive, just don't buy it and they'll have to put the price down or they won't sell them and that's the only way to go. Okay, so here we go, request. Mayo Hosco wanted to see two A4s double heading. Unfortunately, I've not been able to do that because my A4s don't have front couplings, which is a shame. So I'm sorry, I've only put one A4 on. Hopefully Mallard there will be able to manage all she's got because Mayo wanted to see the railgun, egg vans, a crane. So we have got a breakdown crane, which, um, well, it's a perfect name for it really, breakdown crane, because it does seem to derail all the time. And then an uh, LNER brake van on the back. So there's quite a lot of heavy rolling stock behind that 84. I'm hoping she'll manage it. Williamtown wanted to create the Nightfall Limited. I'm not familiar with that, but uh, that's what he wanted to see. So a Britannia at the front with a 37 at the back. And I've duly done that with the Pullmans in between. And then Christian Mann wanted to see the Tango, which you can see on the inside line too, uh, with some ocean wagons and then the pillbox brake van on the back. So thank you folks for those. Let's do that. Get these going. There goes the A4 and the railgun. And whatever else. I'm a bit nervous about that one, particularly the crane. I've tried to put it at the back, but it seems to be jumping around a bit already. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Here goes Britannia and the 37. Hopefully they're reasonably speed matched. And of course the Tango. I must say those Helgen Locos, I don't know if it is just because they're bad, but people love asking for them. I always get asked from those. Oh, Christian Mann again. Thank you so much, Christian. You're very kind. Uh, he says, there is an English tank engine in LA Grange, Kentucky, that has recently been cosmetically restored. And it was a British Electric Authority Loco, and it's called Flying Duchess. That is not one I've ever heard of before, uh, Christian. That's very interesting. Yeah, thanks for that. That's always interesting. Uh, I'll, I'll have to look that up, see if I can see some pictures. It may well be that if I see a picture of it, I'll recognise it. <laughs> but yeah, as, as it is for now, I cannot remember. Ooh. Oh dear. We've got a problem, folks. Although things seem to have recovered. Did the railgun just catch on the coaches? Ah, that's not something I've ever thought about before. I wonder if the railgun caught on the coaches going round. Ah! -ah. Okay, fair enough. So we have the most powerful engine in my collection. That is the, the V-Trains Class 37, forcing the Pullman coaches off the track there. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, better put that one right, hadn't I? Gosh. Yeah, was that the railgun? Did anyone actually see it? I didn't catch sight of exactly what happened there, but I, I don't know if it was the railgun. I would probably, I would guess so. Um... It is quite a big piece, of course. Right, are these Pullman sorted? Okay, I think we're better. I think we're better. Right. Oh, and while my back was turned, would you believe it, every other loco has crashed and stopped. So the Tango's derailed again. 
in a different place, there we go, and out of shot, the A4 has also derailed, presumably because of the altercation with the railgun. Man, what has happened here? Right, well, I'll sort the one that you can't see to start with. That one's just out of sight. That's the A4, which is completely stuck. Yep, the... Ah! Oh, the egg vans have all tipped over. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't see it. Uh, hang on, I will get you a close-up of this if I can. I'll turn this camera around so I can show you what happened. Uh, how did that even happen? The railgun's in front of the egg vans, and they've all just tipped over. Give me a second. <laughs> right. Look at the state of this. Sorry about this if you're getting nauseous. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Is that all in shot? Yep. Yeah. We have broken eggs, very much so. Ah, oh, crikey. Right, I'll, I'll leave you to look at that for a second. I'll just see what that last super chat was. Steamer Productions, what steamer diesel electric loco in your collection? Um, what do you mean? I have a lot of those. And me on, are you doing my request? Yes, I will do every request. Nobody gets missed off. Whether it's today or not, I won't be sure. Uh, I'll do as many as I can, and then they'll be carried over to next week. But yeah, everybody gets seen to in the end, so don't worry about that. Right, this is difficult because the camera is set up right in the way. So yeah, awkward, awkward. First job is gonna be, of course, to get the railgun back on. <laughs> I knew, I had a feeling this would be a bad idea. Um, but it's not a problem. Well, it is a problem, but we'll see. The good thing is the crane at the back there hasn't actually caused any problems, and that was the only thing I was concerned about because I run the railgun and the egg vans quite often. Uh, no, it seems that the crane's the only thing that hasn't completely derailed. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, let's move this camera out of the way and see if we're back on. I don't think Mallard's on the track correctly. Okay, the railgun's gone over the point, so I think she's on. Okay, right. That's that disaster averted. Let's go now and take a look at the Tango, see what's going on with that. Man, that was one cursed running session right there. <laughs> Let me just put this, I'm just putting this other camera back. All right. Thank you very much. That was Travel by Trains NI. Thank you very much. Can you do a brand new O gauge review? Yes, I am going to do that pretty soon. So stay tuned. Hopefully that will happen at some point soon. Right, Mr. Tango, what's your problem then? Yeah, it's all of its driving wheels have come off the track. And I'm pretty sure it's on a different line to what it was earlier. So why that suddenly started to happen, I have no idea. I mean, it's a bad model, so <laughs> that's probably why, poor quality and such. Right, shall we resume? Let's get everything back to the front if possible, then I can take it off <laughs> for the next round. Okay. Let's get going again with the Pullman train. Yeah, I think the problem is we've got such a powerful engine at the back there. It's just, you know, shoving it along. Yeah, I think we've still got uh, derailment issues there. And the 37 has been left behind. I think that's probably a good thing though. <laughs> Never mind. Let's bring the Tango to a stop. And Britannia. Okay. And let's get the Mallard train going again. Hopefully that one will work this time. Right. Come on, Mallard, don't mess us up. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to. I'm actually going to go real slow and steady with that one. There we go. Try not to have a major derailment because that is literally five minutes gone because, <laughs> because of that one. Well, I've been really lucky so far this series with the crazy requests actually going well. Uh, so I suppose it's high time things started going wrong. <laughs> So there you have it. <laughs> and it's actually working pretty well when it's working, obviously. Okay, take it easy, take it easy. I can hear the wheels rattling, something's not on the track properly. But if I can get to the front, I can take it all off. Okay, okay. There, okay. Well, nobody died, that's the main thing. <laughs> We're all still here, and all the wagons seem to be sort of still together. <sighs> That's good. Right. 
Man, well, that was pretty stressful, to say the least. Uh, thank you very much to those. Who, who have we got to thank for that particular cock-up then? So that was Mayo Hosko. Thank you to you. I think you were the uh, the biggest culprit there, Mayo. I think we've got to say that. Uh, William Town, yeah, yours wasn't too bad. Uh, it's just my uh, 37. A bit too heavy-handed, isn't it, that one? And then Christian Mann, who wants to see the Tango and the Ocean Wagons. That should have been okay, but for some reason, that all went wrong too. Never mind, never mind. Right, let's do some Wall of Fame stuff then. So as you can see, Wall of Fame behind me there. If you want to send something in to put on there, uh, just email it to me. My email is in the description. Here's some from last week then. Let me put this pad down. Okay. Right, so this one is from Clive C. This is his layout, I believe. I'm going to have to move my iPad because uh, I'm going to be using the camera there. So this one's Clive C. Yeah, as I say, it looks like his layout. Uh, he's got some lovely classic diesels on there too. So thanks, Clive, for that. That looks really, really cool. Uh, this is from Chart, Chart Reuse Rail Fanning, I guess. A Union Pacific 689, if anybody recognises the loco, do let us know in the chat. Here's a close-up of that one. Really beautiful photo, actually. Really like that one. So well done. That's very cool. Okay, next up we have J.D. Relf. Here we are. This is a rather unflattering angle of Thomas there, but he does look happy. I'll give him that. So thank you, J.D., for sending in that one. Uh, that's going to look great on the wall of fame. I do love having uh, Thomas pictures on there. That's pretty cool. Okay, this one is a bit scary, so I'm not going to show this one close up. So Cole F. has created a terrifying monstrosity. I'll show you that one there. Yeah, he's got all sort of weird veins and stuff in his face. That is actually quite creepy. Uh, hopefully no one will catch sight of that when it's on the Wall of Fame. I'll have to put that somewhere high up. Uh, but no, that is cool, Cole. I do like it. It's just uh, I don't want to frighten anybody to death, obviously. And then Cooper G sent in this one. Man, look at these engines. I'll show you this one up close straight away because it's super cool. There we go. If anyone recognises those, do let me know. Uh, I love that one on the right-hand side there, that green one. It looks amazing. Is that Hudson? Possibly, not sure. What does it say on the front? It says Bicentennial. Okay, fair enough. Uh, not familiar with that one, but uh, I wish I was. It looks great. Then we have this one from the Great Western Scar. This is a gorgeous image, really, really nice. The way the engine's sort of coming out of the fog there and there's a sunset or rise going on behind it. Yeah, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really well done. Beautiful photo. So that's the Great Western Scar. Well done to you. Uh, next one, we have Coronation2006, who sent in a loco that I do recognise a little bit better. Yeah, that looks like a 59 or a 66. There we go. Looks good in the shadows there of the station. Very lovely. Uh, next up, we have Mandalore the Mad. Uh, again, I don't know exactly what loco this is. It looks like it might be British for a second, but then it doesn't really look it. Uh, yeah, I think he did tell me more about this at some point, but uh, I have forgotten. But yeah, thank you, Mandalore. I did read your email, and uh, it was interesting at the time. But uh, yeah, it's about a week since I read that one. So yeah, very cool, very cool. It's going to look good on the wall either way. Let us know in the chat if you know. Okay, next up, we have what looks like a 9F Evening Star. This was by Super Creature, but it's like a proper miniature railway here going on. You can get a sense of the scale because there's a chap on the left there absolutely amazing just look at that and the coaches as well just wonderful i didn't realize that such a thing existed uh, a 9f is that gauge one something like that it's probably bigger than that isn't it i'm not sure let us know if you know amazing amazing stuff i don't know very much about big gauges i mean i know little about o gauge let alone anything bigger and there's another one from Samuel T. Uh, this one, well, yeah, doesn't look quite so big. Terence Priestley, thank you very much, Terence. You're very kind. I really appreciate your continued support. Thank you. Uh, yeah, again, miniature railway. This one does look a bit smaller. Uh, it's hard to gauge the actual gauge. <laughs> uh, it's narrow gauge, though, isn't it? Stop saying gauge. But Sam, thanks for that one. Really, really love the look of that. Cool little shunter on there as well. Uh, wish I had something like that, actually. Cool. Okay, next up, P674MLE. This is a 165, I believe. There we go. Looking pretty good. Lovely little engine there. Well, not little. <laughs> cool looking passenger train, though, that's for sure. All right. And then this one is from Joel. Uh, well, that one's probably a... Oh, I was going to say a 4F, but I don't think it is. Uh, 53808, if anyone wants to look it up. Nice long picture to fill in one of my long, thin gaps on the Wall of Fame, so that should be cool. And then last but not least, we have one from Tom A, or T-H-O-M, not sure how you'd pronounce that, Thom, <laughs> probably not. Uh, yeah, let me show it to you. Again, it's not one that I'm familiar with, but it does look fantastic. Uh, again, really, really nicely shot there, beautiful composition going on, so that is awesome. Well done to you. 
Okay, let's get on then and do some new models. I told you I was going to talk about new models that I've got hold of. So here we go. Let me show them to you. Um, none of these I've actually opened yet. So what they're actually like, I can't possibly say, but I just thought I would show them to you. So in the Helgen 1361 review, loads of people were saying that the DJM 1361, uh, Flying Yorkshireman, hi Sam, can you please run a race with your Ruston and Stevenson's rocket? Oh, good idea, Flying Yorkshireman. Thanks a lot for the super chat. Really appreciate the support. And yes, I can do that, although I'm pretty sure I know which will win. Anyway, people were saying you need to try the DJM 1361 because it's better. Now, I don't like DJM. The model I had from DJM was not very good. And in fact, they have now gone out of business, uh, which says it all really, doesn't it? However, I thought, you know, I'm going to give this one a try. I'm going to try and get one because I want to know what other models of the same class are like. Surely it can't be worse than the one I've already seen. So I picked one up. I got this one from Kerno for £69, I think it was, plus a few pounds postage. Uh, the RRP is still quite expensive. I think they're sold for a similar price as the Helgen, although it's not as expensive RRP-wise as the Helgen. Either way, £69 was very, very cheap, so I've decided to pick one up. At some point, I will unbox it and find out what it's like, but uh, as it stands, I've not had that one open. Rails of Sheffield had quite the deal going on. Uh, I've only ever owned Oxford Rail Adams radial tanks but only up until now, because as you can see, I've now got a Hornby one. This is a Southern black one. I've always been interested to know what these are like. Do they run better? Are they more robust? You know, what are they like? I'd be really interested to find out. So that is one I'm looking forward to. Rob Arnold, thank you so much. Uh, people coming in with super chats again. I am going to be doing the draw in just a second, by the way, for the house and the post box. So yep, do get into that. And then finally, this is one I'll talk about uh, in a little bit more detail later on, but I have another train pack. This is a real luxury train pack, the Northern Bell, in fact. Uh, again, not opened this one up yet, but I will be reviewing this one quite soon, and I'll talk to you more about how I got it and uh, what I'm doing with it and such uh, in a little while. But there we go, that's that. So those are some models I am looking forward to. What do people think? Uh, Mayo Hosco, thanks very much to you. He says, crashes, funny comments, and others. Epic stream, Sam. <laughs> Thank you, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, things were a little hairy for a second there, weren't they? But yeah, it seems to be getting better. It seems to be getting better. Uh, can I have a shout out, says T's Cottage Guy. Yes, of course you can. And MDH Games, I've only just spotted you there, Mark. Uh, welcome to you. I don't know when you came in. Uh, I've not been watching the chat, though, to be fair. Right, uh, that's fair point. Hopefully, if Sam does get a DJ, DJM1361, it'll perform better than the J94. I hope so, Patrick Webb. Although, from what I've seen, they do have a similar mechanism. They've got that convoluted all-wheel drive, which I'm not a big fan of. But, hey, if it runs well, I won't complain at this point. Okay. Let's do it then. Let's do the winner for the Terrace House. So what I'm going to do is, because everybody that's entered has been in today, I'm going to scroll up and down through my Super Chat list. I am going to put my hand, well, I'm going to put my mouse sort of in the middle, something like that, make sure the mouse is in the right place. I'm going to look away and scroll up and down and move the mouse around a little bit and then we'll see where the mouse ends up. So is everybody ready? Let's see what people are saying, uh, but more likely I'm back. Oh God, the chat is actually going crazy. Tigart00, you actually just got in there. Doing it this way means that you can enter right up until the last second and you've still got a chance. Uh, yes, you can send a request later. You'll have to email it to me though, tagart00, but thank you very much, really appreciate that. Right, okay, here we go then. I'm going to scroll up and down. Ready? Well, I've got to look away, haven't I? Right, cover my face just so no one can say I was looking. Uh, move the mouse up and down as well, just so that I can get people at the top and the bottom. Right, scrolling down, scrolling up, scroll down, up, down, up, mm. down, up, 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 down, down. <laughs> Hopefully whoever that was will be involved. Right, we have it. It is Joe Eason. Let's have a look. How do we spell the name? Oh, you know how you spell your name. So well done, Joe Eason. You have won the Terrace House and the post boxes there. So congratulations to you. What you need to do is to claim your prize. You've got to claim it before Wednesday. So do get in touch. What you've got to do is comment below in the comments uh, with the first five letters of your email address. Then send me an email to samstrains at outlook.com and include your delivery address and I will send it to you. Uh, the reason you've got to send your the first five letters of your email address in the comments is so that I know it's you. So make sure you use your Joe Eason 
uh, account. To everyone else that didn't win, I'm so sorry. I wish I could send you all something for all of your support. Although, of course, don't worry because you will still have a chance to get the Barclay 060 and, of course, the Bullman model as well. So, well done, Joe. Hopefully, you're there in the chat. If you heard that you won, uh, let us know what you think. Hopefully, you're happy with that. Let's go back onto the stream. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's do some more requests then, and then we will finish this off. Right, let me, well, I'll tell you what, I'll leave the chat on the screen so that you can see yourselves. Uh, let's go on and find out. The thing is, I've just scrolled up and down now on the super chat list, so I do not know where I am. <laughs> so just bear with me in a, for a second. I've got my Hornby pen. I, didn't, I don't know if I've already shown that. I'm using that to write them down. So, yep. <laughs> right. What was the last one I did? That might help. So it was Christian Mann was the last one, although that might not help because I know he sent several already. To everybody that doesn't get it shown to date, don't worry, I will do them first job next week. So do not worry about that. I'll certainly do it. Okay, so I found Christians. So that's good. Okay, me on. I don't think I saw this one. Uh, and he was asking if, if I was going to do it. So yes, I certainly am going to. Uh, so it was the 56XX plus the Duke Dog. That's a 440, by the way. That is going to be awesome. And the GWR coaches. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And then it was Don Antonio, or Dan, if I go and buy the name I called him earlier. Rustin, plus the Pug and Co. Uh, what, which ones are those? They ring a bell, but I can't remember what they look like. I might have to Google those so I can see what they look like. Uh, I can't believe. Are they the green ones? No, they're Poundsbury, aren't they? Hmm, I'll have to look. I've had a mental block on those. Okay. And then Lakota Theoroff. Uh, Battle of Britain. Uh, or West Country, yeah. And some coaches, that is fine. And then he says, Flying Yorkshireman, thank you very much again. Sam, please can you plug the great virtual model railway show on Facebook? next Saturday, 9am, to combat the cancelled shows. Yes, of course, I've not heard about that, but that sounds like a really good idea. And to anyone who has had a show cancelled or anything along those lines, a <laughs> little bit of a pun there, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is a shame, and I uh, hope you're keeping safe. I don't want to say too much about it. Uh, we don't want to put a dampener on things, but yeah, stay safe. Right, Pug and Co. Let me look these up. Just do a little Google, because uh, I can't remember what they look like. Pug and Co. Wagons. I don't know how many I've got. Have I got a red? Oh, okay, yeah. So those red ones. I don't have many. There's certainly not many. There's, there might be a handful. We'll have to see. Uh, right. Well, I'll have a look. <laughs> I'll do my best. If it's only got one wagon behind it, I'm sorry. <laughs> but he did say as many as I've got. So if I've only got one, that is going to be all right, I'm guessing. So from what I saw, they were red. So I guess I'll just look at my red wagons and try and find one that's suitable. Davies, Willis, no, I don't think they're modern though, are they? So if I go down a bit, I can look into some of my old ones. Ah, there we are, Puch and Co. There's one. And I can see what looks like another. Yeah, that's two. Okay, so we've got two. Uh, so we've got a bit of a train. Uh, that may very well be all I've got, but I will just check. No, they're all ocean wagons. Uh, ooh, I tell you what, that's the third one. I had no idea I had more than, well, I perhaps knew I had two. I didn't know I had three of them, though. That's pretty good. Is that all? Oh, it's a good job I checked now, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose I do sometimes lose track of what I've got, don't I? <laughs> it's probably a bad thing to admit, but uh, yeah, it's going to happen, isn't it? Okay, so that's with the rust, and what can I take off? Let's have a look. Uh, well, I think we can take off the outer line gubbins. Let's do that. Don't think we need the cranes and the egg vans anymore. What a shame that is. I do love running the egg vans. <laughs> yep, good job I'm not hooked up to a, a lie detector, isn't it? Not that it's needed. Okay, good old railgun. I'm going to put the railgun somewhere safe, actually. I don't want to. That would really break my heart to stand on that and crush it. <laughs> Although, interestingly, and perhaps unbelievably, I've never stood on and crushed a model. Never. <laughs> I've dropped a few before, but uh, obviously I think we're all guilty of that. But never damaged one by dropping it. Um, the only thing that's ever happened is, like, buffers might break off or something. You can always fix that sort of thing. Right, the Rustin. Where is the Rustin? 
I seem to get the Wickham trolley and the Ruston shunter mixed up a bit, which is crazy because obviously they're very different. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, Ruston, there we go. Obviously, she's got her Ruston wagon. I can't do much about that. Don't want to take that off because it might. Well, we know it doesn't run quite as well with, without the wagon. So there we are. There are the Pugs, Pug and Co. P-U-G-H, if you're interested. Did he want to brake van of, of any sort? Uh, no, don't think so. Okay, so me unwanted the 56XX and the Duke Dog. Okay, uh, do we need any Pullman coaches? Don't think so. Tell you what, I'll leave the Pullman coaches. I'll take off the Britannia and we'll put the, uh, the Battle of Britain on there instead. Because uh, he said I could choose the coaches, and I do love Pullman, so that's fine. And then what we'll do is we'll set up the Duke Dog and the, yeah, 56 on this line. Go on then, Mr. Tango. We'll see you next week, no doubt. <laughs> Literally every single stream, the Tango gets chosen. Uh, it's quite crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I tell you what, it's, it's sort of earning me my money back that I spent on it, slash wasted on it. <laughs> so actually combined with the water experiment that I did <laughs> and the initial review which did quite well and of course all the requests uh, it wasn't actually that much of a bad buy uh, to start with I was absolutely gutted that I'd wasted my money on it turns out yeah it wasn't that much of a waste in the end <laughs> uh, some consolation I guess right so we want the 56XX let me grab that where is that one that is the 062 I believe isn't it so we'll pop that down and it does have couplings on the front and back, which is great. But I think the Duke Dog does too, doesn't it? It does indeed. So we can put whatever we like at the front. Uh, well, in that case, we'll put the Duke Dog at the front then. I believe that is the faster loco. Oh, thank you, whoever that was. Uh, it's unusual to get Super Chats at this late stage. I bet you're the last. Thank you very much, whoever you were. I'll come and take a look. I'm having trouble putting this front bogey on because I'm trying not to disturb the Pullmans. Right, let's get these couplings to go. Okay, and what was it? Did he want Great Western coaches or what? Uh, yeah, just Great Western coaches. Okay, we can do that, no problem. Right, well, I've got the Great Western train to hand, actually, from earlier on. <laughs> you know what? I could have just moved the Pullmans. <laughs> I've just spent, like, two minutes trying to put two locos on I could have just moved them silly me never mind okay great western train of course just four coaches like this I'm gonna be really really easily hauled but that's cool that's cool and we've got the uh, buffet car of course yeah I'll always put a buffet car on if I've got the choice because you know you treat your passengers as you'd like to be treated and I would not like to be on a train without a buffet car <laughs> okay and a battle of Britain uh, Camelford I'm going for which is actually a West Country, yeah, I guess. A lovely Hornby one, of course. All right, let's get the two Great Westerns out of the way then, just so I don't end up knocking them off again after all that. There we go. Are they running okay? Yep, seem to be. All right, a bit faster then. There we go. And I'll put the Battle of Britain on. Or West Country. I mean, there's actually no difference. They're the same, but they've got different names, of course. Okay, putting it on on an express point. That's definitely not a good idea, but I think we got away with that. Okay, brilliant, there we go then. Off it goes, always a good runner, that one. And let's get the lovely Rust and Shunter going. There we go. So, those were for me on Don and Lakota Theoroff. Thank you very much, folks. There we go. Looking excellent. Oh God, ah, what have I done? <laughs> why is the 37 still on the track? And why isn't it moving? Okay, we're better. <laughs> And the Great Western Locos have just sped up. Oh, that could have gone really badly wrong, couldn't it? Whew. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Cool. Let's catch up with the chat then. Do some final shout-outs before we say goodbye. How is everybody? Everybody enjoyed the stream today? I hope so. Okay. Prepare for a lone 37 coming. Oh, had you remembered that, Duckman, or did you just spot it before I did? <laughs> oh, is, is Arn, Arvind Mohan's spamming? I hope not. Spam, spam, spam. Come to India, he says. Oh, okay. I've never been to India, to be fair. Um, it, it is a place that would interest me. I'd love to go and uh, see some of the famous sites, of course. Uh, so, yeah, this may not be a bad idea. 
Look at that, beautiful Camelford, really love that one. Peter Branford loves the Class 37. So do I, but it would have been a shame to see it smashed to pieces <laughs> when the West Country class comes crashing into it. Yeah, that would have been a rough one to watch, I reckon. Let's see if we can watch it come into, into view. Can you please make a Sonic the Hedge train? It's Sonic the Hedgehog train, says Reese, the GNR engine. I really don't know how I would go about such a thing, uh, Reese. If you've got any suggestions, I would be more than happy to take them on board. <laughs> I don't have any Sonic the Hedgehog locomotives, though, I should say, <laughs> funnily enough. Oh, we got a nice shot of the Duke Dog cab there. That looked pretty good. Earl of Bathurst, says Luke Hill. Uh, I don't think mine's Earl of Bathurst. Which one is mine? Mine is... I don't think mine's got a name, in fact. No. It could be Earl of Bathurst, then. Is that the name it had originally? Hmm. Interesting. Not thought of that. How big is your layout, Scott Green? I'm not entirely sure how big it is. It's probably, to guess, maybe four metres long by two to three metres wide, something like that. It varies, largely. But it's reasonable. It's a, I think I worked it out in scale miles once. It's a, it's a couple of scale miles of track. No, it's not. Is it? I can't remember. Was it half a mile all the way around? It's something like that. It's about a mile. It's, it's no more than a mile, I would say. Scale miles, of course. What do you think about Italian trains, says Super Bomberdoo, Bomberidoo. <laughs> I don't know much about them. I've got one or two. I've got a few Lima ones, um, but not many, not many. I do like them, though. I think Lima trains are pretty cool. They're good quality and they're classics, aren't they, I guess. The stream's still going, says somebody. Yes, that's right, although I will be leaving in just a second because we're almost done. So with that, I will let the trains keep running so you can watch them. Uh, keep an eye on them, please, because <laughs> I worry. Uh, but here we go anyway with the thank yous for today. Thank you to everybody who has been so generous in supporting me. I really appreciate it. So Colin Wikes, Jared S A R A Z Rail, Jimmy81, J Shining Time 4, Kelly Ashford, Sparky129 Games, Mayo Hosco, British and American Railways, William Town, Whammy Radio by Christian Man, Archie Watt 19, Me On, Dan Antonio, Lakota Theoroff, Sparky129 Games, Long Sight, Lego Master365, Kelly Ashford again. Rado Slaw, Coacher, Socher, <laughs> George Botterini, Fox Hill Railway, Joe Eason. Well done to you, Joe. You actually won. And his super chat message was love to see. Uh, uh, he was the guy who was asking about the Dapple 68. Very cool. Uh, so, congrats, Joe. Thank you for your support. The Cluttered Desk 2. Just wanted to say hi and keep up the desk work. Oh, yep, I did. I'm just trying. Uh, if I didn't read your message, please do get in touch to let me know because I feel like I might have missed some today. Uh, but there's too much for me to read them all. But if I missed yours, let me know, and I will certainly make an effort to read it out next week. Uh, the In Big Block We Trust, The Ugly Duck Man, MCW Records, Carter Hewitt, Yuch Hayo. <laughs> uh, yep, you... Ah, I've just realised what he put. He says, I bought my first two trains in 15 years after finding your channel. Not 15 years after finding your channel. That was my fault. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I appreciate the support. Sorry if I misunderstood that initially. Uh, Sparky129 Games, Ronan's Railways, Vic's Train Corner, Chris Thorpe Junction, or Christ Thorpe. I'll have to find, him, find out what, uh, what, the what the correct pronunciation is for that. Crouching Tiger Hidden Adam, Justin Machin. Uh, yes, I read yours out. Wanted to see the World War I Karki Locos. I'll really enjoy that next week. Uh, me on Whammy Radio by Christian Man again, the Imperial Diamond Spinosaurus, Kelly Ashford, Oliver McMahon, uh, again get in touch Oliver if that was a mistake, uh, you could probably get in touch with YouTube actually and they'll probably refund it for you. Uh, if, it was, if it wasn't a mistake, that is crazily generous, thank you so much. Uh, William Town, thank you to you again, me on Ryan Abernathy, Navy Dog, he'd like to see the Backman Edward with five troublesome trucks and a toad. Have a great de day from Portland, Oregon, USA. Would you, the big boy? I don't know if I read that before or not, but uh, there it is again. Tim Watts, Gareth Waite, thank you so much. Uh, he wanted to see the peak glass and the Ooh. packet of my choice. Ooh. Yes, I did read that one. Uh, Ryan, again, the packet and the B4. Yes, we can do that. Simon, the Plantsman, thank you so much. Uh, Paul Laters. Yes, I read that one. That was about the Triang. Me earned you correct collect railway books. Uh, radio by Christian Man again. Matt Daniels, thank you so much. William Town, who was, who was asking about the funerals. That was brilliant. 
David Piper, what is the best way to get started? Hornby or Backman? Yes, I did read that one, didn't I? And the Cluttered Desk 2, thank you to you. Whammy again, Steamer Productions, Meet on Travel by Trains, NI. Terence Priestley, The Flying Yorkshireman, Rob Arnold, Mayo Hosco, James Livingston, and the chat has just jumped. No, we're okay. Tagot, double O. Uh, Lego Master 365, he says he's just decided to send again. He's buying his own Hornby Adams radial soon. Oh, that's good. Take a look on Rails of Sheffield. I got mine for quite a good price. It was very reasonable. Flying Yorkshireman, uh, yes, I saw yours. Ronan's Railways, more egg van requests. And technically, because you sent £5, that does count as an egg van request, doesn't it? Ah, okay, no problem, we can do that. And Cosmo City 53 says, your channel is awesome. I just rediscovered it. Oh, thank you. That's very, very kind. Anyway, folks, with that, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. If you sent me a request, don't worry. I've got them all. I'll make a list and I'll get through every one of them next week. So don't worry about that. Apologies for the delay either way. Either way, folks, in all seriousness, please stay safe. Look after yourselves. If you're having to stay at home, even though it's not ideal, enjoy it. Take it as a break and do some modeling. Above all, though, stay safe, look after yourselves, and uh, I will see you very soon with another video. All right, keep it up, folks. Uh, don't, lose the, don't lose the faith. Hopefully, you'll all be just fine. Okay, see you soon, everybody. Take care. Hey, folks. Thank you all very, very much for tuning in for another episode of Sam's Trains Live. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with another episode very, very soon. But in the meantime, please enjoy the videos that I'll be posting on my channel till then. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks again for your support, folks, and take care of yourselves.